created a month component inside month.js file and I'm importing it in date picker. It goes right here. Now let's get started with just having the weekdays which we saw. So this part and how we show this. So what I'll do is I will have a constant which has all the weekdays and I'll eventually move this into a different file to clean up this particular file. So I have a list of weekdays. Now I want to print those out. So I'll create a dot inside here. Let's have a container for for weekdays. And I'll have another div which will have all the this will have all the dates. Perfect. So now we want to have the markup inside the weekdays markup constant. So let's create cons weekdays markup. And this will be we map over all the weekdays. Get the weekday. For now, let's return just some dev which sorry, just some div which has the weekday inside it. Okay, now let's see what this gives us. So we save this and we go to Chrome. Okay, that's nice. So we have all our days being printed out. Now to organize this better, I will create a different, a new component, which will have the weekdays. So to give you an idea of what that will look like, let's say we have a weekday component. This will have a key which can be weekday or title and here we don't want the full weekday we only want the abbreviation so let's call it abbreviation from weekday and then we pass in the weekday we'll create this helper method which will return the correct abbreviation for each and then just the label for mostly accessibility Perfect, so in the next episode, we will create this component which accepts these props and also create functions to have this functionality.